Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm just doing another video of this Orange R615X receiver, comparing it against a genuine Spectrum receiver. This is the AR6100E, which is uh, fairly old, and it's only capable of DSM-2. I've got both receivers bound to my JR9303, which is a DSM-2 only transmitter. So they're both operating in the DSM-2 protocol. I have a servo connected to the throttle channel on each receiver. And as you can see, they're operating fine. When I turn off the transmitter, what you'll see is both receivers going into failsafe and the throttle channel going to idle. So I'll do that now. Turning off the transmitter, you'll see they're both in failsafe. Now, turning them back on, what I've noticed is that the Spectrum receiver is consistently faster at reconnecting um, and the orange one is generally slower. So let's turn that on now. Let's see how long it takes for each to reconnect. There's, okay, you could see the Spectrum one connected just a few seconds before the orange one. Let's try that again. And on again. You could see again the Spectrum was faster and one last time. Turning on the transmitter now. Okay, so three times in a row, the Spectrum receiver was faster. What I'll do now is just show you the, uh, the brownout recovery. Now, because I've been turning the um, transmitter on and off several times, the first time I repower this receiver, it won't show you that there's been a brownout. You'll see a steady light. So removing the power and reconnecting. Okay, now if I remove the power and reconnect, you'll see that it comes back on almost instantly and now the orange light is flashing to show you that there's been a brownout. So the, the servo responds immediately I'll do that a number of times removing power connecting power you get instant connection back to the um, transmitter so basically the brownout recovery is instant as soon as you apply power the receiver is connected that's not the case with the orange receiver. What I'll do is I'll just remove power and apply it the first time because the transmitter was cycled a couple of times. But even now you can see it's taking a bit longer to reconnect. Okay, removing the power again and reconnecting. It's showing you the brownout detection. It connected fast that time. But what I've noticed just in doing this several times is that it's inconsistent. You can see that's taking a lot longer. Now I'm moving the throttle channel. We'll see how long it takes for the orange receiver to connect. Okay, that took quite a bit longer. Try that one more time. Okay, you can see it takes a good several seconds for the orange receiver to recover from a brownout. Now, just once again to show you the difference with the genuine spectrum, removing the power, reconnecting, it's instantaneous recovery. So it's working straight away. So personally, I think uh, looking at that comparison, um, I think I'd rather just spend my money on the genuine item. Um, the brownout recovery is much faster and uh, it seems to reconnect faster also if there's any loss of uh, signal from the transmitter. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.